Uh, good morning, LaSalle Catholic. Um, this week's Principally Speaking will be with me today. And um, I know in last week's Principally Speaking, Mr. Zexer talked about how much we pray um, at both the middle school and the elementary school. And he's not wrong in saying that we pray a lot because we always start our day with prayer. Um, we have prayers built in throughout the day in all of our classrooms, um, praying at lunch, after lunch, and before we leave for the day. Um, and it, it's, it's funny because um, one of the things that I find special that I like to do, and, and one of the things that I've always been working on um, in my faith life is making sure to take the time for prayer. And so one of the things that I like to do um, is I have signed up for these daily retreats from Loyola Press. Um, everybody can sign up for them, so feel free to do it, and you can join in the daily retreats with me. Um, but they send these three-minute retreats every day, and it's, it's great because it's a, the best way to start your day um, or to remind yourself to stop and take time, even if it's just three minutes, to, to stop and think about um, what God has done for us and to thank God for um, everything that he does for us day in and day out, whether it's our family, it's our school life, um, work life, um, just everything and anything in between. Um, but it was funny because today's uh, little daily retreat, it talks about um, like how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. So remembering to ask God for his help. And um, I'd like to share this next piece because it really spoke to me today um, during the retreat. So it says, Jesus teaches us that we can call God our father and depend on him. Prayer is essential to maintaining this intimate relationship. God's gifts to us of faith, hope, and love sustain us in prayer, nurture our relationship with God, and help us to meet the needs of others. And that's just so profound because remembering to, to stop and take time um, to pray, not only for yourself, but for everybody around you, and to then also thank God for everything that he's done for us is so huge and so monumental. Um, and it's, it's one of the great things that I'm glad that we share and model for our students because then they know just how much he does for us throughout the day. And, and he can see us as adults modeling that for them. And we're all doing it together. And it's, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. And so the reason I'm, I'm bringing this up is because in a few weeks, um, we're going to be doing the Joyful Mysteries as a school here at the elementary. And our second, third and fourth graders are going to be leading that. And it's just so great to be able to have them lead us in prayer and share their leadership and talk about um, all the things that God does for us. So I encourage you to reach out to your classroom teachers um, because some of them have these wonderful prayer boxes and um, these beautiful prayer corners in their classrooms and, and ask them in what ways are our, our students leading prayer and sharing their prayer lives with others because it's just it's it's such a beautiful thing and I know you guys don't get to come into the classrooms all the time to see it but when you do come in for um, conferences with your teachers it'll be a beautiful thing to have them show you and share with you as well so please um, sign up for the the daily retreats join us in praying every day and uh, good luck to Xavier tonight is homecoming so um, I hope that everybody has a fun and safe night watching the football game. Good luck. Go Saints, go Lancers, and God bless.